crazy wisdom person, which is direct translation from the Tibetan, what's known as Yeshe Cholwa. Yeshe meaning wisdom, Cholwa is uh, gone wild. So in this case, it's a craziness gone wisdom. We had this conversation way back in 72, I think, in San Francisco. We were comparing our itineraries. And I said, don't you get tired of constantly going around? I'm, I'm getting a little tired of running around. He said, oh, that's because you don't like your poetry. I said, ah, what do you know about my poetry? And he said, well, why don't you do like the great poets of old, like Milarepa? Why don't you just get up on stage and compose on, on the tone? Why do you need a piece of paper? Don't you trust your own mind? We come to Naropa to try to find out what it's all about. We invited all these poets. There was Allen Ginsberg. And Alan was a one-man poetry school. Alan! Do you relate to American jazz, blues, rock and roll as having possibilities? Maybe uh, jazz has more possibilities, blues have more possibilities, but rock and roll has lesser possibilities. And why do you feel that? Well, it is a question of actually indulging individual sense perceptions. It is too Coca-Cola oriented. Well, um, I think, have you had the experience of, uh, say, uh, majesty and uh, calm and centeredness in uh, any rock and roll that you've heard? Um, unfortunately not. I tried, it was very hard, Alan. I tried very hard. I thought at some point I was missing something. Yeah. But then it turned out to be I wasn't missing anything at all. 